god, isn't it? Yeah, nice Batman. Oh, Beatles, look. Barbie, Back to the Future. About nine pound for that. Nine pound. Okay. Beatles, Batman, all the same. All the same. Beatles, Thundercats, Barbie, Thundercats, lots of Thundercats. Yeah. Quite like that Batmobile. It's a different Batmobile, isn't it, I suppose? Um, yeah, so, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Let's go look at Lego, I think. <laughs> yes. So that's a nice sword. Oh, look, she's throwing him about. Ah, oh, that's cool. So that set with handcuffs. That's a good one. I like that gun. Really, some of the one I've got though. Right, let's go look at Lego. What's that? American scene. Oh, so we've got a Corvette, Chevette, Bronco, Dodge Charger, and a Tesla. No, <laughs> you can keep that then. Keep that. Right, Lego, 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 lots of Lego that we can't afford. Lots of Lego. Yeah, there's a lot of slow in this oak up there. All that lot. And then we've got the special ones here. Oh, look, they've got an Ecto one. I wonder where they dug that out from. That's nice. I don't like that though. Don't like that. Four hundred pound. Yeah. What else we got down here? Speed champs. I think they brought some new ones out, no? Friends. Generic. Lego. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. No Star Wars at all. Not one bit, I didn't see any. It was no no bargain section, no reduced section, no Marvel Legends. The, the one in Leeds, Crown Point, is a lot better than this one. It's because that's got upstairs as well. You know, it's just like a Lego store in there, really, no? It's, I mean, there's a lot that I didn't show because there's a lot that I'm probably not interested in anyway. But yeah, I'm going to go see Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters and I'll tell you what it's like afterwards. Hello, I'm using my new camera. I'm using my new camera. I'm, I'm trying to look in the. Uh, so you've got the you've got the display there, but I'm trying to look at the into the lens. Look into the lens, not to the yeah. Right, so um, 
So we've got this new Lumix camera, so that's going to be really good for the Toy Fair. Right. Um, so we went to see Ghostbusters. I uh, went to Smith's to see what I saw in Smith's. Not a lot there. Uh, we did go to the West Yorkshire um, archives as well. I've put a bit in, but I'm going to do a separate video on that because um, we are going to be talking to those people down there and looking at their larger collection. So that's that's quite interesting. It's, it was it was there wasn't a lot there, yeah? but I've made. Um, and I haven't made an appointment yet, but I'm going to make an appointment to, to visit it. And there's like 100 boxes apparently, it's 100 items in, in there's 400 boxes, something like that anyway. But that's for, that's for the future, we're going to talk, talk about Waddington. Um, so Ghostbusters, that's what, what, that's what you want to know about, isn't it? I enjoyed it. I love Ghostbusters anyway, you know that. Um, I know when I went to see Afterlife, it wasn't... Um, I didn't enjoy it as much first time, but I've watched it a couple of times since, and I really enjoyed it more than watching it the first time. So this time, I've really enjoyed it watching it in the cinema first. So I don't know if the repeat viewings are going to be make it better or worse. I think it'll make it better. But it felt like a Ghostbuster film. It felt um, it felt like a modern Ghostbuster film. It wasn't. It wasn't an '80s Ghostbuster film. It wasn't. If you're wanting the original Ghostbuster film, this isn't it. This isn't it. The uh, B stories and there's there's a like a relationship thing going on, which I didn't really. I wouldn't say approve of because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to say I didn't approve of it. I'm just glad it didn't go where I thought it was going to go. Put it that way. This is non-spoiler. I'm not going to not, not going to spoil anything, but um, the bad guy. He's not in it a lot, but he's a pretty good bad. He is a good bad guy. But if you think about Ghostbusters one and two, talk so to two in a minute. Uh, Ghostbusters one and two. The the bad guys weren't really in it until the end, were they? So you didn't get to see a lot of them. You don't get to see a lot of the bad guy in this one. Ghostbusters 2 is now canon. It's officially canon. It was mentioned in a news story in the in the film, which I really enjoyed this that news story. Um, this, uh, the, we haven't seen Ghostbusters on the street since 1989 or whatever, or since the, the Statue of Liberty walk down, blah, blah, blah. So, there, yeah, that was... It, seeing a, a news story about them was really good. Getting a getting a catch up with the with the Ghostbusters I really enjoyed that totally so yeah um, there was a lot there's a lot packed into this film um, I've seen people saying there's too many characters in it the, I, I don't the worst don't get me wrong there, there's a lot of there are a lot of characters in this but it's not confusing by any means there's no no stretch of imagination it's not confusing at all um, there's one point where there's a, a Ghostbusters research lab because it starts out where the family that we saw in Afterlife is running the ghost house. They're running Ghostbusters. Now, they are, are not told about the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. I don't know if these are Ghostbusters or just like a, a research lab for these for the ghosts. And they're not told about it, which I don't, I don't get. I don't, I don't understand what that bit, especially when uh, Lucky is working there when she's supposed to be going out with uh, Trevor. Do you think that? No, yeah, no. I, I that that I, I thought yeah, that's a bit. That was a bit weird. Um, so all the main, all the characters from the last from the Afterlife are still in this one. This is good. There's some like cameo appearances from the original Ghostbusters as well, which is really good. Um, I think Winston's in it quite a bit, and Ray's in it quite a bit. I think Ray was absolutely brilliant in it. Actually, I enjoyed I enjoyed seeing Ray. Yeah, Venkman. 
I don't think they was given a lot to do. Um, you don't have a lot of lines. There was a, like a nice, nice scene between, well, a couple of nice scenes. It's like a, a bonding between um, Ray and Winston, which you saw in the original Ghostbusters, but this bonding, um, it was very heartwarming. Um, they had the, it starts off with them the arguing, and then, yeah, the bonding through the, towards the end. I mean, it's, it's good. The ending's good. Um, it's more of an ending like more than Ghostbusters Gus, 2, anyway. Um, it's, it's exciting. I tell you what, I mean, this is going to be another one. There is going to be another one. But I would just like, I wouldn't mind just a film of them busting ghosts. Just a film of them just catching ghosts all the way through. Those lines, they don't, they don't need to be a big bad guy. I think I think that does in a way to make it exciting, but I'd just like to see them busting ghosts all, all through a film, um, like a make make a TV series of them just busting ghosts each week. That would be really good um, because all the ghost spoilers, all the ghosts get released again by not by Waterpeck this time, even though he's in it. Waterpeck's in it. Um, did I? Um, Willem Matherton is is getting on, obviously. Um, I don't think his 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 character was as strong as it used to be. Still good though. He is the mayor of New York now, <laughs> so he's um, he's still kind of one of the one of the bad guys. Um, I I don't think there was as much confrontation with him, but I think I enjoyed it. I enjoy, I enjoyed it. Anyway, it's a really good film. Uh, don't listen to what the critics are saying. I mean, make your own opinion. This is my opinion. I, you know how much I love Ghostbusters anyway. And if you do love Ghostbusters, you will love this film. Um, if you liked Afterlife, I think this is better than Afterlife. I really do think it's better than Afterlife. But there we go. That's my opinion. And you're, you're, you're free to your own opinion. So I think um, this is my first use of this camera. So hopefully this has come out all right. I, I, I'm glad I got it. I really am glad. I kind of needed it for toy fur, I think, and going for the toy hunts. Just like a, a backup. I think this is this will be the primary recording. But I've got my phone, I've got my little pocket camera as well. So I've got plenty of options now. And I've got no excuse. I think I've not used the microphone, my little microphone, on this. But I can do for future when we go out and things like that so yeah i mean it'll, it'll help with the history channel and everything like that so i kind of did i have been wanting a good camera for a while and it's not been at all necessity i do need a computer first i need the priority was a computer but that's quite that is going to be really expensive but um we'll get this we'll get this so we'll get this paid off we'll get um the computer is going to be it's going to be there it's going to, it's always going to be there I, I, there's nothing nothing wrong with the computer i've got it's just slow and i just do need to update that but uh well that you know it's these things you need to do uh, um uh, run a, a, a youtube channel you uh, you you suck hmm? okay um <laughs> Right, thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. It's just um, just my little visit to Ghostbusters at uh, the cinema. I haven't been to Indiana Jones last year. And uh, going to the Little Smiths, which wasn't brilliant, but I hope you enjoyed that footage as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm going to be with you. <laughs>